I'm hungry. Um, where am I? Who are you? Where did you come from? Um, uh, basically, I opened the door and was going in my house. I trip into this big gray ball. I see an explosion, and now I'm here. Wait. No, my windows. Jack, what did you do? Well, I mean, you see, the lawnmower kind of ran over the power cords, and then that sent an electrical surge through the thing, and my entire experiment blew up. But hey, it worked. Traveled through time. Time travel. Then where are the dinosaurs at? No, you traveled to, into the future. You're in the city of Re, and the year is 2121. Well, as long as I'm here, what can you tell me about this city? Well, the city of Re is located on the northern coast of Australia. It is also located 250 miles from the Great Barrier Reef. That sounds fascinating. I'd love to take a tour. Um, how far is it to downtown? I guess we could go on the spin go around, which is our elevated train that loops throughout the city, um, well, downtown, and branches to the outskirts of the city. And once we get off of that, we can go on our sidewalks, which goes throughout our city and is completely safe because the sidewalks actually glow at night, and it is car-free, except for emergency vehicles. So, what is it like to live here in Re? What do people do? Well, the most of our most of our residents reside in either our apartments or our condo. This one is a hub for the spinning go round. We also have uh, smaller single-family homes on the outskirts of town. And uh, then we, ha um, we have our giant 40-story mega mall, which houses all of the stores imaginable, and that's where all of our residents can uh, do shop for whatever they need. And then, um, uh, for fun, we have our sports teams and our parks, but some of our main attractions are the beach and our aquarium, which is underneath the uh, giant office building. Now, don't forget about our schools. We have big schools located all around the city, but only a few. And they go preschool all the way to college. But we do have smaller ones on the outskirts of the city. Then, we also have police, fire, and hospital. Which are um, which are located right by the spinning go round for easy access, and then they all are also like located between zones so that it has easy access there too. We also have our vertical gardens, which house most of the food we grow to eat. This is all fascinating, but it must take an awful lot of power. Where does that come from? It comes from our tidal power station, which, through the movement of the waves, gets electricity that gives power to everything in our city. This is really cool. A futuristic city, but I've noticed something missing. At home, we have a lot of pollution and mega landfills. What do you guys, what do, you guys do with your garbage? Well, we have none. Like our name, which for the city, which is re, we reduce, reuse, recycle, and many other things. For our yard and food waste, we take it to a facility in our city to be composted and took into our vertical gardens. And for that paper waste, we take it to another building in our city, and that gets remade and redistributed did throughout our city. And as for the plastics, those come here to be shredded up into small bits. And then from there, they come to our silos to be mixed with other materials to strengthen them. And then they travel through these tubes and then are heated and extruded out. Um, and then 
After that, they travel through the pneumatic tubes and into the solidification chambers, where they are cooled and stored. But what about the stuff you can't recycle, like a lot of the plastics? Well, for that stuff, it is brought here, and we use our synthetic waxworm digestion that breaks down the weakest plastics, like bags, into forms of alcohol, which is used for disinfectants. Others are shredded and put into high compression chambers to turn into, but to, to turn back into crude oil to restart the process. That's unbelievable. Wait, what's all that stuff up in the sky? Well, those are drones. They fly around our city to make sure that nothing is malfunctioning or broken. And if they do see something, they go down and fix it. While that drone's doing that, another drone can fly and make sure that everything is working okay, too. And then when this one is done, it can go back and recharge. And the other thing up there is our Gravitron. It is our main system of freight transport. It brings things from the docks to the stores or from manufacturing to the docks to be shipped out. It has two different arms. The white arms are for heavier loads and the black arms are for lighter loads. Those arms can also extend to reach other things. Sold! I want to bring my family here. How do I do that? Well, we could have used the time machine, but somebody broke it. Never and my window! Mind.